So here I am today. I've come to Pensford Viaduct and I'm going to see if I can make a picture of this with my speed graphic. I'm just going to park that there. It can stay there as well. And I'll talk you through the process. So I'm currently using instant film in here. Now, yeah, it's an old five by four camera and I've got Instax, which is ISO 800. So I'm gonna have to measure the light based on that. Now I know the shutter is firing appropriately at the right speed, so that's all good. And I'm gonna use this spot meter and I've had issues getting a good exposure with this spot meter in the past. I think it's just because I'm not used to it yet. So let's see what I can do this time. All right, so first things first, I'm going to see if I can get an image of this focus. Now, looking at the front of the camera, what I need to do is open the aperture as much as possible so I can see what I'm looking at. That's getting that in. I've made you a little bit lower so you can see what I'm looking at and it's got a pretty good focus. Now next thing, I'm going to attach my shutter release which goes actually on the side here. So the shutter release on this one is actually here. The way that we actually uh, change the speed of it is how this is tuned in here. So you see that goes T, then it goes A, B, C and so on. And then this one down here, this is tension. It's like two and then click, click, goes to three. And you just change it to whatever tension you need to. And then once you've got it right, you fire the shutter properly. But for now, what we're going to do is screw this in here. If it's a long exposure, then I'm not going to be wobbling the camera when I fire it. So next thing I need to do is use this spot meter. And let's have a look, let's turn it on. Take some measurements. I've got to set this first of all to the correct ISO. Then I can point it at the light and the dark and get a mixture of the actual, of what exposures I'm, I want to get. I've worked this out now to, it's F16. If I go for F16, I can go in, in the light patches, it's about one thousandth of a second. In the dark, it's about sixtieth of a second. Two fifty in the medium. I'm going to go for around about one twenty-five. Let's get this lined up. F sixteen. One twenty-five. So I need to read off the top here, and then I need to dial it in on the side. So I've got it. I need to get my glasses. One twenty-five. So that is B five. So it's five on the tension five and B that's that one B5 125th what I do now is I get one of my film holders with some film loaded in see I've put a U on it for unexposed that's it that is set B5 pull the dark slide out and then from here smile turn it over so that the X is showing for exposed and that is that exposure made so I just turn it over I got my second shot ready to go all right so this one I have measured it again to see what exposure I need for this waterfall which I didn't know was here I mean this is lovely I mean and then you've got that aspect up there which I might just turn the camera around in a minute just try and get that so I want to set the aperture to f8 which is a shutter speed of 125 again so that's b5 here we go ready and back on exposed job done just relocating over here It's quite an interesting shot on its own. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to do a proper walk up there and see what it's like. Watch my camera. Okay, lots of stinging nettles, some dead nettles, and people sunbathing. Don't want to disturb them sunbathing. Ooh, it's an interesting tree. And this bit, that, that bit is nice there. That's quite, uh, quite cute. I'm going to try this bit up here. Stinging nettles, stinging nettles. Two shots right there. There's a tree, and then there's the stream. Measure up that shot of the tree, get closer to it. Let me take you to it, you can see what I'm talking about. This tree is pretty nice. It's got a good framing branch here. That's interesting. Yeah, there's that. There's two ways to that. There's that way there, which kind of looks nice. I'm not sure I'm going to get the angle though, so I can't put the camera where I'm putting you at the moment. And then there's this one here out this way, which I can do from right here. So be interesting just to see. So this is all practice for lugging this kind of equipment around, cutting down on the stuff that I don't need, making sure I've got the stuff I do need. So, got my spot meter, got my man bag with my dark slides and filming, but just the logistics of taking what you need, lifting it up, putting it down, sit tight, here we go. Here's the process then. Make sure I've got my dark slides in, my film, and open the aperture all the way up so it's wide open then i've got to put the rear curtain shutter so that it's on o now i've got to actually focus it so as i said before this focuses the shot as it is wide open it's focusing the shot based on uh, aperture being wide open so you get a lot of depth of field and that means that when you focus it's going to be focusing on exactly what you want to focus which is going to be in the middle of the depth of field when you change the aperture to something smaller yeah that's what I want to focus on those branches that are dangling at the back so as it's instant filming here it was an instax so I'm not getting so much in the frame so I'm having to center what I want very precisely so next thing, I'm going to put my film in right now and leave it there. Then get my spot meter, leave it on F8. That's just 125, it's 500, 1000, 250. So you know what? I'm going to change it from F8 to F16. See what that uh, tells me. 250 on the buttercups, 125 on the grass, 250 on the bark. 130 of a second on the shadow in the bark there but i'm going to go for one uh one twenty fifth again uh, f16 get me aperture f16 and again one one twenty fifth is b5 still on five on the tension and i'm ready to go unexposed shazam I'm ready to go. I'm going to relocate down there, take that shot. Oh, look, see, there's a duck. See, this is what this camera is not set up for. I can't quickly jump in there and take that picture. Kind of have to line up a lot of these things beforehand and then sit and wait. Let's focus the shot. Exposed, unexposed. That goes outside. I've got my latch on the one that's already exposed anyway, so that's okay. And now, B5, B5, and F16. Check for any duckies because then that's, this is a thing. You could sit here and wait for a duck and then get it. But there are no duckies. Here we go. Okay, put the catch on. 
So there's all sorts of different flowers around here and I've seen this nice little buttercup and I'm going to see if I can take a shot of that. Right. So film out, open up the aperture, get that on O and zoom in. I need to be closer. Can I get closer? That's it there. That's it. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Where did I put my my spot meter? And get it straight on the flower itself. And tune this into F11. D6 is one one thousand. So it's crank that up to six. There's six, and then it's up to A, B, C, D. And I want to make sure I'm not in the shadow of it. 